Welcome back to Daytime Alive. Yo, miss, I actually miss saying that, you know. <laughs> come back down. Hey. We're still buzzing, everybody. Jamaican-American Congresswoman Yvette Clark and Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson on Friday introduced legislation in the United States House of Representatives calling for the exoneration of Jamaica's first national hero, Marcus Garvey, and identifying him as a champion for the liberation of people of African descent. She said, the world deserves to know the truth about Marcus Mazar Garvey and the truth about black history. It's time to reclaim Garvey's legacy and accomplishments as a human rights activist before Congress, America, and the world. True, true. Hailing Garvey as a human rights activist, the resolution seeks to preserve Garvey's legacy by exonerating him of unfound charges brought against him by the U.S. government and calls for the U.S. president to take necessary actions towards clearing his name. Hank Johnson said, quote, the utter lack of merit to the charges on which he was originally convicted, combined with his profound legacy and contributions to black history in our country, it's time to right this fundamental wrong. End quote. Mm -hmm. Garvey was the leader of the Pan-Africanism movement which sought to unify and connect people of African descent worldwide in the United States. He was a noted civil rights activist who founded the Negro World newspaper, a shipping company called Black Star Line, and the Universal Negro Improvement Association, which is the UNIA. Yeah, it's about time. I mean, it's about time it's done. We've been calling for it for a while. We're here calling for it again. Um, it, 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 it tells a lot, you know, when somebody that we have as our national hero, like um, uh, places like America see him as a, as a criminal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though they're acknowledging that he is a national hero and he was championing for our rights and he was championing for the return to Africa for Africans or Africa for Africans. He was championing that. They see that and they acknowledge that and they, they agree to that and respect that. However, he must still a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a no, it really should be a no-brainer. It shouldn't it should be a non-issue. It should be like a one-two three thing, but he's still there and he's still convicted. Yeah, I think a big part of the pro because I know we had started these conversations. I keep hearing these conversations. Again, Black History Month, so another time to raise it, but then what happens after? Mm -hmm. Uh this one definitely seems to be one that we can follow carefully. But I I have to hundred percent agree with your brother. You know, this this shouldn't be no discussion right now. No. Like, like we, we keep hearing this. About a year ago, me, I hear it. So, I don't know if there was some synergies between what we are doing locally versus what they're doing now in the house of representatives. Because if it wanted oh. with Ivet, I got always represent for Brand Jamaica, always. Which is right. So I don't know. It's just sad. It's, it's that, that we're still yeah, talking I mean, about. You would it. expect something like this. Somebody would have come on somebody's desk and it would have been like, oh, Marcus Garvey, we never did that yet. And just do it and it's done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but again, alas. appropriate timing because it's Black History Month as usual. You know, you have to raise these conversations, but then what really happened? After, so. talk, you know? We follow up with it and see what happened. Um, we shall see. But me tired for kind of see that conversation here all the time when this is so important for just kind of yeah. push through and move forward. Yeah, we shall see.